Siphon coffee makers like this one are designed to be placed in front of others while you brew. Since the first one was patented by Madame Vassou of Lyon, this has been one of the more scientific and awesome looking ways to create coffee. It also happens to be one of my favorite ways to make coffee with expensive coffee beans. So the basic way that a siphon coffee maker works is that it creates a heat seal between the two chambers, which allows water to travel up into the top chamber where it can brew and then filter down through to the bottom chamber. It's very similar in a way to a mocha pot, but instead of the coffee being heated directly, the coffee is allowed to brew in the top chamber without direct heat and then the coffee filters down into the bottom. In this way, the coffee comes out tasting smooth and delicious and it really lends itself to lighter roast coffees because it can bring out the acidity in a really, really Really nice way, unlike many direct heat methods which can tend to be a little bit more bitter. I've been playing around with a few recipes for the last few weeks with this Bodum electric coffee siphon and I've settled on 3 to 40 ratio of coffee to water. I usually measure both the coffee and the water in grams because it's a little bit more accurate to measure in grams rather than eyeballing a milliliter jug. Now the grind for a siphon is a little bit controversial but I found that my favorite way to do this is with a similar grind to pour over, maybe a little bit finer towards the mocha pot range. This is a middle or fine grind compared to what is usually recommended for a siphon which is a little bit coarser. However for me one of the benefits of this brew method is to have strong coffee without a lot of the filtered particles that you might find in something like a french press. Don't go too fine like you might do for a mocha pot or an espresso because you might end up with coffee that is a little bit over extracted and bitter and with small fines in the final brew. So here's my recipe. Before you start, boil your kettle and make sure that your filter tab is securely fastened to the bottom of the glass tube. I measure out 30 grams of coffee to grind. I pour in my pre-weighed 400 grams of boiled water into the bottom chamber. I boil it first to reduce the amount of time I have to wait and also to reduce the heat on the top chamber once it's put in. Then I turn on the heat of the bottom chamber and wait for the water to brew up into the top chamber. Once all of the water has migrated to the top chamber and there's just a little bit left in the bottom, then you can add your 30 grams of freshly ground coffee to the top chamber and stir it away for about 10 seconds to make sure that all of the coffee is submerged in the water. Now I set my timer for 60 seconds and leave the coffee bubbling away in the top chamber with the heat still applied to the bottom. From my experimenting with this method, I found that 60 seconds in the top is the ideal amount of time to wait before turning off the heat. Once I turn off the heat, it's gonna take another 30 to 45 seconds for the coffee to filter back down into the bottom chamber. This is my favorite part. It looks so cool filtering down into the bottom. Once all of the coffee has filtered down, you can take out the top chamber. But please be really careful when you're doing this. It can be really hot and also the heat can create an extra seal between them, which makes it a little bit more difficult to take out. You could either burn yourself or you could damage the glass tube if you do it too quickly. It's okay to wait a little while and you can take off the glass top here to allow some heat to escape, which will allow it to come out a lot easier. As you can see, this method takes a little bit longer than some other brewing methods. Even my espresso machine can make an espresso, heat up to steam, and then steam some milk in a little bit less time than it takes me to do a siphon, and you do need to pay attention for the whole time. However, the results with a siphon are really fantastic and very different from what you'd expect from something like an espresso machine. I'd actually much rather use a siphon for really expensive coffee beans because I don't have to waste a lot of coffee dialing in the grind setting for an espresso. Now, of course, there are a few drawbacks to this brew method. One of the things that's really annoying is that it does take a long time to clean up afterwards. You have to wash and clean up two brewing vessels and while the top one is totally fine the bottom one is impossible to actually fully clean because you can't fit a cloth or your hand down inside. It always bugs me a little bit to have this beautiful sciencey looking thing on my countertop but to have it look a little bit dirty with dried up water droplets that I can't completely clean away. The risk of damage with the siphon is also a little bit higher as well, especially if you're using one of the ones with an open flame rather than the electric one that I got here. In fact, that's part of the reason why I bought an electric one because I was a little bit worried about having an open flame in my small Japanese apartment. Even so, the stem is a little bit fragile and you do have to be quite careful when cleaning it or leaving it out on the counter. However, these are relatively small complaints compared to the joy of making beautiful coffee in this siphon machine and especially having something fun to play with when I have friends over.
So one last thing for this video, this channel has been really fun to work on and now I'm getting weekly emails from coffee companies asking me to review their stuff. While I have accepted a few free coffee things in the past and it hasn't affected my thoughts in my videos, I do want subscribers to this channel to be able to trust what I'm saying about them. For that reason, I'm starting up on Patreon so that I can have a little bit of extra money to buy some coffee products for review. If you want to support this channel and help me create content for you, then take a look in the description for a link to my Patreon. Any of the equipment that I buy using Patreon funds will be boxed back up after filming and sent to one of my Patreon subscribers. Once I get to a certain amount on the Patreon, I'll start by giving away this Bodum electric siphon machine and then all future equipment that I buy for the coffee channel. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel and I'll see you on the next one. Madame Vassu of Lyon? Madame Vassu of Lyon? are meant to be placed in front of other peepers while- Peepers? Peepers? What? That was a terrible first take. Let's do that again. You can add your 30 grams of ground coffee to the top. Yeah, freshly ground. Give it a little stir for about 10 minutes until all of the coffee is sub- 10 minutes?